So kind of interesting, not only interesting, but I maybe that's exactly the wrong word. It is onerous when you think about it. Here you have a very popular end time paradigm embraced by literally hundreds of millions of people. And in that paradigm, you're going to have Christians who are raptured and enjoy seven years of heavenly bliss, a great heavenly banquet. And then the Jews that they helped herd into the Holy Land prior to being raptured are going to be bludgeoned to death in a Holocaust that exceeds anything that's ever happened in the history of the world. It's oftentimes called the time of Jacob's trouble. So this is a view in which the Jews are bludgeoned. The Jews suffer a Holocaust. And there's no biblical basis for it whatsoever. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they get it out of Zechariah chapter 13, verses 7 through 9, which I believe that particular passage deals with the period of the book of Acts. You do have this one-third, two-thirds distinction being made. There were those who opposed the things of Christ. They were Jews who opposed the things of Christ. And there were Jews who believed the gospel message. And that was a battle that was going on. It was a battle that was going on in Jesus' day. Jesus' problem with the people was not with Rome so much. I mean, he made a couple of comments regarding Herod, and he made comments regarding, you know, Caesar, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. But most of the opposition that came in the gospel narratives are with Jews. I mean, in John chapter 9, when Pilate wants to get out of this conundrum he is in, he wants to either release Barabbas or release Jesus, and the religious leaders of the day you know, say, you know, we have no king but Caesar. And the book of Acts is the same way. The book of Acts is a struggle that takes place between believing Jews and unbelieving Jews. And I believe that two-thirds that Zechariah 13, 7 through 9 is dealing with here are the Jews who were slaughtered during the destruction of Jerusalem in A.D. 70, which Jesus warned for 40 years to get out of the city. He said, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, head to the hills. Uh, there's no such warning today by modern-day prophecy speculators. They're excited when Jews return to Israel. But according to their system, for every three Jews who's in Israel during this so-called tribulation period, two of them are going to be slaughtered. 